okay here we are part two and w one of the I, I won't say people that I know people that have helped in the past has asked me is the because in UDK made a I won't say a big thing but I try to stress on one side the importance of the folder structure when making your game now if I just pull over the uh, the browser content browser you can see here you've got a game called folder well a game called folder a folder called game and in here you've got your animations your audios your blueprints your characters your maps that's going to be important I'll, I'll deal with that in a minute your meshes and your textures now obviously you may end up having a lot more than that and you may sort of reorganize it but you want to make sure everything stays when you're in the content browser under the name game try not to I'm not saying you can't but try to make sure you keep everything in there now when you start getting to the coding side of life that gets a little bit different but we'll have a look at the uh, no not there where did I want to go I wanted to go there that was my uh, da, 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 yeah. my many many videos recorded now if we go to volume E which is where my stuff is Unreal Project my TP BP FPS game folder you'll find here there's absolutely nothing called game there's no folder called game because if you go in here all right you'll find config content and saved now if we open content you will find the same folders that are here textures meshes maps characters blueprints audios animations and in there you will find your U assets okay all there all your bits and pieces your example map mm, yeah that could be important uh, templates yeah 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 that's all in there and we're happy with that now I'm not too sure at the moment if this is would cause a problem but I would advise at, the, at this moment in time if you wish to make additional folders in here do it via the editor and not via the Windows browser now I know I've done it before you can uh, pull content content in from other bits and pieces you can use the migrate tool that's all fine but just make sure anything you bring in is in under the content folder here it shows us game and here it shows us content okay now let's just have a quick look in the saved game at the mo uh, save game the save folder at the moment in here you've got your auto saves you got your config saves looking at that you, you might recognize some of these things clean source content that's pretty much the same to me there oh log file very very important okay if you've never never seen this before the log file is here now we've only got one log because we've only just opened it but you will find there eventually each time you open the project it will create a log file I can't remember for how many times there is a set limit so if you open it 20,000 times a day I don't think it will keep that many yeah so in there you've got your configs saved and you've also got configs here now which one does it use don't know I don't know everything 
I think basically you set up there and it will save up there or whichever way somebody's bound to correct me on this one but it's so like I say I'm not one for reading the documents I find that very very draining and I t tend to jump in feet first drown or swim but anyway that'll do for that for the moment and it might take me a day or two to get the next videos up because basically I just want to make a couple of little maps and then we'll try and make a little game out of it so there is actually doing something and we'll also have another look at those log files and everything else but that's basically just the structure now if okay as a as a last resort uh, where have I got it uh, UK get yeah now this is one that I did make up and please ignore that for the moment and you go source classes privates resources we'll get to this later now if you want to get really really silly and you might have seen this already if you go if you got the shooter game installed you go in here and not only have you got saved which is stage build sandboxes yes I've been playing around <laughs> we'll get to that but you look at all the cold stuff in here and it's uh, yeah headache resources yeah oh funny little icon there yeah I recognize that but anyway we're not going to deal with that but what we will be dealing with is things like sandboxes stage builds and that other one that we saw here windows no editor we'll get onto that later in the project okay so just a warning a bit of a teaser and i'll see you soon okay then bye bye now